What's going on guys? It's Daniel and welcome to my review for the 2019 Toyota Care 500 from Richard Motor Speedway. We're going to talk about the race. We're also, and then I'm going to give you the results of the race, then we'll give my opinion, and I'll give you a little update on what's going on for the Red Cup race in Richmond. All right, so let's start off with, with the start of the race. On the front row, you had uh, Riley Herbst because of course qualifying got rained out. So Riley Herbst started on the pole, Tyler Reddy started second. It didn't take long for Cole Custer, however, to make a move to the outside around lap two or three. He passed Herbst for the lead, and then Justin Allgaier around 10, lap 10, he caught up to Custer, passed him on the inside. Passed him on the outside because he used the high line and arced it in the corner and made the pass. Because when you're on the high line at any racetrack, it's Penny, you can shoot it off the corner when you arc it because you're faster going off the corner. And uh, Allgaier got the lead. And then around 40 laps in the race, um, then around 40 laps in the race, um, Bell was able to catch um, Allgaier. He got by him and pulled away for pulled away. And then the caution comes down around 10 laps to go in the race. Mason Diaz went up the racetrack and just completely stopped for whatever freaking reason. And that brought out the first caution in this race, which sucked for Bell. And then people decided to come down pit road. And on the restart, um, Allgaier is able to get away from Bell because, as, as you guys know, on the race starts, uh, Bell was not that great. He's not that good on the short run here. And it really showed because he fell back a lot at the beginning of the race. And Bell just couldn't seem to get a good restart. Allgaier is able to pull away from Bell. And Justin Allgaier won the first stage of the race. Stage 2 happens. Basically, same old, same old. Justin Allgaier pretty much dominates stage 2. I mean, he clearly has the fastest car in this race. And then Acosta comes out. With around 26 laps to go in, in the stage, I think. Um, that was for me. I think it was David Sarr who spun out. Don't at me. I think I'm wrong on that. Someone spun out, bringing out that caution. No, no, Jeremy Clements. He uh, blew up. And that brought out the caution with around 25, 26 to go in the stage. And then everything completely changed because a bunch of guys decided to stay out. All Guyer made a questionable team, made a questionable call. To stay out, along with Dylan Bassett Jr. got stayed out, Rosh has seen anything stayed out, um, and a bunch of other guys decided to stay out. It would work out for all guys. Custer Bell decided to pit, and oh, oh I forgot to mention, uh, Zane, uh, crap, someone else stayed out too. Sorry. Um, Crash Ball stayed out in that first restart. That's all right. Um, on the restart, uh, Dylan Bassett Jr. Uh, just completely hit the brakes, didn't go. Gray Golding uh, got into the back of him, and Gray just shot up the racetrack. And unfortunately, it clipped Christopher Bell's tire, so Bell's car had a lot of damage. And unfortunately, with around 10 to go, Christopher Bell uh, got clipped down by John Hunter, and uh, I think he got hit by John Hunter, and he spun around, and he got turn finished by Grayson. Yeah, and this would kill Gray Bell for the rest of the race, pretty much. This is Rebel's chance to win the race. And then at this point, the guys like, and at this point, Allgaier is able to hold off. I think he won the second stage as well. No. Um, coming to the end of stage two because Custer just Custer just completely blew by um, Allgaier. Custer got the win of stage two on the race start. Then stage three happens. Uh, Allgaier pits. Bell pits. Um... Bunch of other guys pit as well. The ones that didn't pit on the previous caution, uh, they decided to come down to pit road. Justin Allgaier just completely just blows by everybody at this restart. But because when you do that here, Richmond, you wear the tires out, and he just um, didn't really have the car at the end of the race to catch Custer. And neither did Bell. Custer Bell got up to third place, and he never seemed like he could get up to the front. Well, could get up to the lead because he felt like three seconds back, and because he used tires up, that completely killed his race. Custer is able to um, keep the lead for all, and then the caution comes out around with around 40 laps to go for David Starr um, getting in the grass. And I think at this point, rain's coming. Yeah, rain was a big part of this race today. Uh, Cole Custer, I thought this race was going to end on stage two. Didn't happen. Rain just kept. When rain kept coming closer to the track, just stayed away. So, good job, Mother Nature, for playing a good role today. Uh, but Cole Custer is able 
to stay out at this point. And then, the, and then we get back to the restart. Justin Allgaier completely screws up the restart. He spins the tires. And he backs everybody up. And Gregson um, gets spun out. Gets spun by uh, Kaz Grala. Unfortunately, Grala, he locked the tires up. Unfortunately, no. The, the splitter hit the track. And unfortunately, the wheels went off the track. And he just went up the racetrack and unfortunately kept no Grayson. Grayson shouldn't be mad at that. Grawl apologized and Ray said there's really nothing he can do. Uh, there really was nothing he can do about it. That is a shame for him. But it is what it is on uh, the Grayson situation. And then we went green for about 20 laps. And it was between, uh, it came out between Austin Sindrick and Cole Custer. Uh, Cole Custer is able to catch Austin Sindrick with about 20 laps to go. And Cole Custer is able to pull away from Austin Sendrick, and he goes to victory lane for the second time this year, and he wins the second running of the Dash for Cash, gets a $100,000 bonus check. So Cole Custer won at Richmond. Now let's go through the results of the race. So Cole Custer won, Austin Sendrick second, really good run for Sendrick, best run he's had since ISM. He's got to have better runs than this, so he's driving a 22 car. He should be winning, just in my opinion. Justin Allgaier got third. Allgaier did pretty good. Um, he didn't have the winning car at the end. I feel like he had the best car all race long. But um, we all know what happened to Allgaier. It's a shame because he lost all the speed he had and the car just got tight. Um, Tyler Reddick fourth. Reddick was a non-factor all night. And he got fourth. He had no speed in the car whatsoever. And had uh, some sort of... Uh, I think he didn't have any... had a steering issue... I don't think he had brakes at all, and he still finished fourth. So great job for Tyler Reddick. Oh, Ryan C fifth. Let's get into the let's talk about Ryan C. Ryan C tonight was really fast. That that car was really strong tonight. It at times had the fat was he would that car was the fastest on the track at times. It was moving to film like if Ryan C wins tonight, oh my god. Fifth place for that organization. That's impressive on its own. I'm impressed with Ryan Seek. I've been impressed with that team all season long. I'm not that's not the only guy I'm gonna be impressed with though, because there's a lot of guys I've been impressed with as well. Um Zane Smith six, really good run for him. Uh, he continues to get more experience, and that's a good finish for him. John Hunter seventh, great run for him. Uh, Chase Briscoe eighth, another top ten for him. Riley Herbst after Riley Herbst did nothing. He did terrible in this race. He was far back at 16th getting beat by guys in worse equipment. Don't even at me. And then Justin Illy got out a top 10. He was as far back as 21st, and he finished 10. Um, Ross Chastain, 11, finally had a pretty good run in Xfinity. He hasn't really done a great in Xfinity. Ellie Sadler, 12th. Ellie Sadler back in Xfinity gets a 12th place finish. Hot damn. Great run for Ellie Sadler. Really great run for him. Michael in at 13th. Um, okay, nothing special. And that's kind of come back to earth. He didn't, didn't do anything tonight. He never, haven't seen him the last two weeks. Just saying. Uh, Cavs go off 14th. Hopefully he can find, hopefully uh, the 21 car can get some more races going and he can run some more races at, at RCR because he's done an excellent job in that 21 car. Good job for Grawl. And rounding out the top 15, how about Dylan Bassett? Another guy that did excellent. He made that 90 car. At that point, that 90 car looked like it had top 10 speed. I'm not kidding you. And that car is not good. It's a it's Mario Goslin's cars. And he finished 10. Like, that's impressive on its own. Fifth, not 10, 15. 15. That's really good. Uh Chris Rebel 16th. Bell got damaged on the car. The tire, it just killed his car. Um, Greg on 17th. He was pretty good tonight, too. He's as far as 12th tonight, so he deserved a better finish than 17th. Steven Light 18th, Gary Smithley 19th, and Brandon Brown finishes 20th. Hey, two RSS cars finished in the top 20. Just keep Brandon Brown in that car because you make the car that RSS is too good. Uh, Ray Bot Jr. 21st, Grayson 22nd, he got spun, he never came back. Uh, Joey Gates 23rd, Tyler Matthews 24th, Donald Teague, I think, Teague, Donald Teague got 25th, Colin Garrett 26th, 27th, Benny Miller 28th, Matt Mills. 29th, David Sarr, and 30th, Beach McLeod. 31st, Mike Harmon. 32nd, Kyle Weatherin. 33rd, Brandon Jones. What happened to Brandon Jones? Oh, yeah, Brandon Jones had an engine issue. Oh, what happened to Brandon Jones? He got to 33rd. Never mentioned anything really about Brandon Jones. 
Uh, Chad Fitchin, 34th. Jeremy Clements, 35th. Mason Diaz, 36th. 37th, Timmy O. And Jeff Green, 38th. I think. Yeah, Jeff Green got last. All right. Now to my review. Uh, my opinion. Um, I'm going to give this race an 8. It was pretty good. Um, good race at Richmond, I would say, for Xfinity. Um, good battles. But the leader, Chris Bell got like a 4-second lead at one point. That's kind of why I gave this a view a little low well because there wasn't a ton of battling for the lead. It really wasn't a ton, a ton of battling. It was good racing, just not a perfect race in my opinion. But it was it was pretty good. Um, now to give you a little update of what's going on. Uh, I have to work tomorrow from 5 to 1, so... I'll watch the cup race Sunday, um, which might affect the IndyCar race as well for me, depending on when I get the cup race done. I'm going to try to get up early in the morning to watch it, so I have the review out like in lunchtime for you guys or somewhere around there. Um, so there won't be a video tomorrow for the cup race um, unless I get sent home early from work, which I'm not going to get sent home early because I'm closing tomorrow. So, yeah. everything, everything's That's what I wanted to let you guys know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn on the so I'll be notified when videos live on my channel. And share this video to your friends. Hopefully weather does not affect your cup race. Please. We had almost, we um, I thought rain was going to affect the race. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.